Hi there, this is Brian from Enlightened Speed here and we are just returning to you with another tutorial video. Uh, today is a kind of quick first look thing that we're doing for Inspiral. As you can very possibly see, it's been completely redrawn. Uh, the entire left section of the panel here looks very different to what it once did And hopefully this should just make it a wee bit clearer for folks to understand what is going on with that The main thing to take away from it is the previously you had a little dial called the global control over towards the left hand side And this governed which mode it was in So what we've done, we've replaced the original dial with this set of radio buttons along the top here that are on this kind of wee tram line thing. The probability mode is the one which is separated down here. Of course that means all of them go through, but governed by probabilities. And the various single modes are all on the top and labelled as appropriate. And then into the main panel we've also done a kind of regrouping exercise here. It should just make it easy enough to understand which ones are which and where they are. All your strum controls down here, all your up controls here, and then in the middle you get your repeat and ratchet controls, with a couple of them being shared, the complexity and the size. And that's that. So as I said, it looks a wee bit easier on the eye as well. And we have added two new features as well. Firstly, there was a user request for a spreading control. And this was originally to do, uh, the request was actually for the dual mode. Now what dual normally used to do was it would pick the second note that it generates at random with a one octave range either way. The spread control allows you to limit down the range. So you can now down, have it down to two, which because it's both sides is effectively one, all the way up to 24, which being the octave, 12 plus 12 is 24. So we're gonna set that back to 12, so it's limited reasonably well. And you'll also notice that we had a spread on the singles now. It's really just a continuation of the same idea. The single notes previously would always go to whatever the closest scale note was, but now they can randomize a certain amount as well. I tend to keep this one low myself after testing it for weeks on end. This makes it a wee bit more predictable, a wee bit easier to understand what's likely to come out. Obviously you never really know with Inspiral, which is kind of the point of it, but it makes it a little bit more predictable. And then lastly we have the control for this, which is a kind of on-off for the singles, but it also relates to how the duels work as well. So it's called randomize first, and when it's on, well the spring the singles will be affected by the spread control. If it's off, the singles are not affected by the spread control. And that's an interesting way of working with dual as well, in that dual was normally the first note is locked. This is why it's called randomized first. The first note is typically locked and it will go to the nearest scale member and then from there the second note is the one that's taken at random. But when you have randomized first switched on, then what will happen with the dual notes is the first note can be randomized inside the spread value and then the second note is randomized from there. So it's quite a powerful effect. So first up I've got the shooting blues in a barrel patch here, which is the new default. And just added this patch in here. And I got it set up for a nice week in a bluesy piano thing at the moment. So all I'm going to do here, again, just showing you the true power of Inspiral. I'm going to repeatedly tap E3. I'm doing nothing else. I'm just tapping E3 to a rhythm. Let's get a listen. <laughs> A really nice little piece of blues riffery simply by tapping one note to a rhythm. That's what Inspiral does really, isn't it? But anyway, that was all we were looking to show you, just the new features and the new redraw, and we hope you're having fun with it. So that's all for today. Thanks for watching, and we shall see you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.